when we simplify a fraction such as 12 eighteenths, we're making it smaller or reducing it. We have to find the greatest common factor, which is the biggest number that can be divisible by both 12 and 18, and divide by that number. In this case, the greatest common factor is 6. We divide 12 by 6 to get 2, and 18 by 6 to get 3, for a simplified answer of 2 thirds. When we cross cancel, we need a multiplication or division fraction problem, such as 7 eighths and 4 twelfths. What we need to do is look for common factors between one of the numerators and one of the denominators. This may not always be possible, but sometimes it is. In this case, 4 goes into 8 two times. Since 4 goes into 8 exactly, we divide both sides by 4. And we get a new problem. This new problem is a result of our cross-canceling and becomes 7 halves times 1 twelfth. Now all we do is multiply across. For a final answer of 7 twenty-fourths, and since we cross-cancel, this answer is in its simplest form. Sometimes we're able to cross-cancel both numerators and denominators. In the problem 4 fifths times 10 eighteenths, we could do this. So first, we take 4 and 18. There are common factors between the two, the largest being 2. We divide both the 4 by 2 to get 2, and the 18 by 2 to get 9. Next, 5 is a factor of 10. 5 goes into 10 exactly two times. So we divide both by 5, and we get a simplified problem that's much easier to work with. We get 2 over 1 times 2 over 9, which equals 4 ninths. And since we crossed canceled, our answer is in simplest form.